Hello, welcome to Ravensdale Bible Academy. Today's course is from our Think Again Christian series called Fake News. And today's lesson is our introductory lesson uh, so that we understand uh, some of the, the reasons why we're doing a fake news section and uh, kind of just the beginning uh, basics of what fake, fake news is. Uh, I want to begin with uh, a clear understanding, a biblical understanding of how we pursue information, how we pursue knowledge, because we, we don't just live by faith, right? We, we, we are called by God's word to pursue truth. We, we see in 2 Timothy, uh, it encourages us to study God's word uh, to show ourselves approved as, as workmen that don't need to be ashamed. Uh, we, and, and so we, we want to be uh, workers. We want to be critical thinkers, right? And we want to train ourselves, uh, even when in a, in a biblical concept of, of being like that good worker um, that doesn't need to be ashamed. You don't need to be ashamed of your views. You don't need to be ashamed of, of what you believe. Why? Because you've worked through that. You, you've studied it out and, and you've trained yourself uh, to, to think right. And so our course, uh, Fake News, came from you know, one of the most popular phrases we hear nowadays is, you know, in regards to the media is, well, that's fake news. Well, that's easy to say. And that statement in and of itself, again, is a, is a form of a logical fallacy. It's just an ad hominem attack on the opposition. But how is it fake news? Well, what, what would define it as fake news? That's what we want to know. And so what we've done is we've taken logical fallacies and we've applied them to uh, news and media outlets and said, well, uh, if we can use a logical fallacy, if we, we can attach that, then, then we could call it fake. Um, if they're using facts and figures and, and they're accurate and correct and corroborated, then, then it's not fake. You just don't like what's being said, right? And so we, we don't want to make that mistake. And so as, a, as an introduction to uh, fake news, our goal then is to identify, identify um, the truth of the statements that we're hearing, because we're hearing a lot of different statements. We're hearing from both sides. Uh, we hear from experts on both sides, and they disagree. Two doctors completely disagree, right? And so, so how do we process that? How do we actually train ourselves to be uh, good critical thinkers? Well, the first area I want to look at is this idea of, of sacred trust. Um, we began with uh, the idea of, you know, we're going to trust the people who, who bring us the news of the day. You know, they're, they're, they're giving us the facts. They're giving us the evidence. They're, they're using witnesses. And, and we're trusting that they're doing that. When we see a show like this behind me and, you know, the local anchor brings on a guest and, and that guest uses um, false information, well, they're breaking our sacred trust. We're trusting the, the, this, this person is a good witness. Uh, in this example, the, there was a local election and the Republicans had a, a huge victory. And so the, the Democrats had accused the Republicans of being racist. The only problem is, is one of the, the winners of the election was an African-American uh, woman. And, uh, you know, she was for the Republican Party. So how did the racists vote for an African-American woman? That doesn't make any sense. That makes this whole interview just a lie and a, and a breaking of our trust. Uh, the other element of this is journalistic integrity. Our journalists have, you know, lost a lot of integrity over the years. We've, we've been catching them in lies. One of the, you know, leading uh, news reporters at CNN, you know, uh, Brian Williams was, was disgraced for uh, faking news. And that, that's, you know, for lying about news, for giving knowingly false information and then getting caught. Well, that again, it breaks our sacred trust and it, and it just undermines that, that journalistic integrity that we've uh, become accustomed to. Well, the third element in, in fake news is this element of, of using logic. It's, we need to use logic. We need to be, have a, a system of using reason, rationale, and thought and, and process that information, right? so that we know whether something is true or false. That's why we have eyewitnesses. 
That's why we have re recorded documents with then proof from other sources, right? So that, that, that corroborates um, what the witness A says so that we have a match. Um, th this is how we, we go about proving something. We can get it on video, we can get it recorded, audio, video, a lot of different ways. And so uh, that's why people come to, you know, to trials and they give their testimony, okay? So we can use logic and we, we have to use logic. A lot of times we're processing bits and pieces of information. And so that becomes an important piece of, of identifying fake news. Uh, we need to understand that this is a process of argumentation. That's a Socratic term. It's, it's not an angry term. It's not an opposition term. It's not a term of hate. We are called, when we present information, when we present news, um, to present the case, right? We're called to defend our, our statements. We're, we're called to bring evidence, not opinion. We, we, we don't want opinions. We have a lot of opinionated shows now. You know, in fact, in the slide behind me, we have one show that, that poses itself as a comedy show, but talks about politics, commenting about another show who calls itself fair and balanced. Uh, and, and so, again, we, we don't want opinions. We, 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 we want facts. Uh, we have an example here of, of Don Lemon, again, a CNN host who, you know, quite often imposes his opinions into the, the news story. Uh, that leads to a, a form of bias that we want to guard against. There's all kinds of new types of media nowadays. Uh, before it used to be, you know, radio, uh, TV, newspaper. Now we've got radio, TV, newspaper, uh, magazines, the internet. The internet has, has blossomed into, you know, these, uh, these new platforms, right? New platforms that uh, Google... Twitter, Amazon, YouTube, Facebook quite often are the sources uh, by which people are getting their information. And so then they are able to control the story or the narrative. And, and so what's happened is news has gone from a, a fact-based organization to really a commodity that's, that's bought and sold. And we'll see that in some of our other lessons. But that's not a good thing. It's not a good thing when a news uh, outlet or a news source is, is competing uh, with advertising or revenue dollars. That just makes them a show. That just makes them another form of an entertainment channel. Uh, and that becomes diff uh, quite dangerous because if all they're trying to do is get visual viewers and get people watching, well, they don't necessarily care if they're right or wrong. They, they just want more people. So having an opinion, only highlighting certain things that they know will increase uh, ratings. Well, that gives an improper balance to the news and is a, is a form of fake news. So again, th this course is going, is going to teach uh, our students how to use their logic, how to use their critical thinking skills. How? By evaluating news uh, through a lens of applying logical fallacies. Again, remember, as Christians, we are called, uh, like in Acts 17, 11, to be like Bereans. The Bereans were more noble-minded than others. And so what they did was they studied to see if it were so. And that's our goal with fake news.